all his messages were mainly coming to Mark chapter 11 verse 23 you will have what you say he may read Exodus he may read Genesis when he comes to the conclusion he will come to Mark 11 23 he may go to Ephesians he may go to Revelation when he comes to conclusion he will come to Mark chapter 11 verse 23 and you see he believed that what he said is what you will receive he will teach holiness, he will teach righteousness, he will teach every other thing. But at the conclusion, he will come to Mark chapter 11 verse 23. And that man laid, and there was no record of sickness in his life. And then, when he was about to die, and that's what he had been preaching. They were in the breakfast, on the breakfast table. And then they said grace on the table. I'm not, and this time I think it was about 90, getting near to 90. And then at this time now, after the table, he just said, Thank you, my wife, bye, and smiled, and he was gone. You see, when, if you say it, what you express is what you impress. And then, tell us, man. When I was a younger, younger Christian, I read a lot of tell us, man. And then in the 70s, T.L. Osborne will come to Nigeria. He'll go to Benin. He'll go to Abba. He'll go to a lot of places. And then he will, you know, he will teach. And then he'll, he'll leave his film. That time, he'll give the films to those who wanted to evangelize. Like we now give our videos. And, you know, they take it about an evangelize. And T.L. Osborne, he owned images on healing and faith. Healing and faith. And, uh, you know, that was in the 70s that he was here. And uh, T.L. Osborne was in a particular meeting. And then the man that introduced him said, Everybody, it was a large crowd, everybody welcome T.L. Osborne at 80 years of age. And then T.L. Osborne came out, his back was not bent, he was standing straight like this, and his voice, because I recognize his voice, his voice like the voice was in 1973 when he came to Nigeria, at 80 years of age, because he believed the Lord, and if you believe the Lord, it will be unto you according to your faith in Jesus' name. You see Caleb, Caleb said, as yet, I am 85 years of age, and as my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. You have become an achiever already. I come to point number three, the sufficiency and the possibilities of faith. Let's come back now to uh, Ephesians chapter 6. Ephesians chapter 6, we're looking at verse 16. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench, how many darts? All the fiery darts of the wicked, the sufficiency and the possibilities of faith. You will make it. And the same power will be in your life in Jesus' name. Look at Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, reading from verse 8. The centurion and Saddam said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. Speak the word only. If you can live like that, and you live on the basis of the word only, not on your feeling. Not on how the condition of your body is. Not on how the economy of the country is. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. And my wife shall be healed. And my child shall be healed. And I myself will be healed. Speak the word only. And the word is coming to you today. It will do good in your life. We're told in verse 13, Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way, as thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. As you have believed, so it will be done unto you. That's a man, let's look at a woman in Matthew chapter 15. Matthew chapter 15, verse 28. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Is it possible for a woman to have faith? Is it possible for a woman to have great faith? 
Is it possible for a woman to have the gift of faith? Is it possible for a woman to bring healing to all the people? I'm asking those questions because you know it's like you know in our church the healing ministry is for the men almost and even though there are prayer warriors and there are women there in the prayer warriors team it appears that those who cast out devils the majority of them the vast majority are men and then those who have confidence when they come it's like you know it's the men that can do it and when you are thinking about in your district for example when you have a problem you when you have a challenge and you're thinking of somebody to pray for you you go to the coordinator you don't go to the women coordinator because the impression you have is that she is a woman leader and the women cannot have the faith to heal I transfer that faith into your life men and women you will do the works of Christ in Jesus name he that believeth on me and she that believeth on me. The works I do, he shall do and she shall do. And greater works than this shall you do because I go unto the Father. Women, folks, rise up because the power of the Lord is upon you in Jesus' name. And of course, we men, you'll be conquering and conquering. And nothing shall be impossible for you in Jesus' name. You know, it's like what the Lord said unto Elijah, anoint Ahazel, anoint Jehu, and anoint Elisha. Whoever escapes from uh, Ahaziah, Jehu will get him. And whoever escapes from Jehu, and uh, then Elisha will get him. I'm telling you that we all have power. Yeah. And whoever escapes from the coordinator, the women coordinator will heal them. And whoever escapes from the women coordinator, the sonar leaders and the women rest we will heal them. And when you have a coordinator, you have women coordinator, you have youth leader, you have campus leader, you have all those people, and they agree together in faith, you will run away Satan out of that district. Because this woman had faith, oh woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee as thou wilt. Be it unto thee as thou wilt. It is done already. In Mark chapter 16, verse 17, These signs shall follow them that believe. In my name, what will they do? They will cast out devils. Will they take in devils? And you know, they sometimes they look up here, brothers and sisters. And many, many years ago, I'm talking about the early 70s, and even before Deeper Life started. And we're going around with scripture union people. And those scripture union people, you know, good, good people, and we preach salvation. Then when we began, some of us in the scripture union, we began to reach here as born. Then we also began to, you know, cast out devils and to heal the sick. And then there were some of us, and they said, no, I don't want to be near any place they are casting out devils because I'm afraid it may come on me. They will take it in instead of casting them out. And then we said, a few of us, we said, Jesus did not say, take in devils. He said, cast out devils. And then some of the people will say, they were Christians. They were born again. Then they will come to us and they will say, brother, that's how they called us. I wasn't a pastor at that time. I was just brother. And to be a brother is a great name. Praise the Lord. They will say, brother, cast out the devil for me. I say, and then I will say, are you a Christian? Yes, I'm a Christian. Do you believe the Lord? Yes, I believe the Lord. I then will say, where did the devil, the demon, have chance to come into your life? Because it says, if you believe, you will cast out devils. You will not take in devils. It is unbelief that takes in demon. It is faith that casts out devils. Which one do you have? Faith or unbelief? I have faith in the Lord. I will not take in devil. I will cast out devil. You will not take in the devil. You will cast out devil. There is no demon in your mind. There is no demon in your brain. There is no demon in your spirit. There is no demon in your family. Because you are a believer, you will cast out devils. They will never come to you. 
I said they will never come to you because you have the shield of faith above all. Taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to cast out devils and to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked in my name. They shall cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall take off serpents. If they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay their hands on the sea, and they shall recover. Where are those hands? I said, where are those hands? Uh, if your hands are already anointed, and you will lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover, yet the first person to lay the hand on is yourself. Lay that hand on yourself. Stand up on your feet. You are healed already. I said you are healed already. I said you are delivered already. Your weaknesses are taken away. You are a believer and your hands are anointed. Lay that hand on yourself and get your healing. Lay that hand on yourself and get your deliverance. Lay the hand on yourself and get your courage and your boldness. And the devil will never have anything to do with your life anymore. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you today because you have given us faith. Oh Lord, I pray you transfer into the heart, into the life, into the ministry of every brother and every sister here, great faith and faith of faith that this faith will work in their lives in Jesus' name. The Lord has lifted you up, you will never be defeated. Nothing will destroy your life. Disease will run away from your body. Those anointed hands you have laid upon yourself now will cast away every negative thing in Jesus' name. Every sickness, every infirmity in your body, every weakness, I cast away right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. And then you are going back to your district, you are going back to your church location. When you lay those hands on the sick, they shall recover. When you stand and speak the word of authority, you men and you women, you will heal the sick in Jesus' name. We'll be hearing testimonies from every district, testimonies from every zone, testimonies from every family, testimonies of progress, testimonies of power, testimonies of miracle, testimonies of supernatural. I pray, Lord, confirm it in everyone in Jesus' name. No man shall be able to stand before you. Every time when you wake up, you express the words of faith, it will be impressed on your life. And everybody will see you have become another man. You have become another woman. You are strong, you will not be weak. You are healed, you will not be sick. You are uplifted and you will not be down. And you will be going on from conquering to conquering. From progress to progress for the rest of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah.